What's going on, guys and gals? Stock Jock here, up $798 on the day. It's a little bittersweet, and you'll see why in just a second. Because, well, I'll just tell you, I was up $1,400 on the day, and through a couple bad trades, I brought myself down to $800. But nonetheless, it is up $800. I cannot complain whatsoever. So let's go over the trades. So the first trade out of the gates was HMNY. This stock was gapping up pre-market. Uh, it had news out. Now, the news, in my opinion, was nothing to write home about. It was just like, hey, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> we completed beta testing on something, blah, blah, blah. Okay, beta testing. That's not even close to like production, right? So. I don't know. I didn't care for this news, but the reason why I ended up playing it is because one of the chat rooms I'm in, specifically Warrior Trading this time, they liked it. They put it on the watch list. If I click this link, you go to the watch list and you can see it. Uh, the lead moderator, Ross, was saying, uh, the only one I'm looking at is HMNY. There's 557 people in chat right now, but there was 1,000 <laughs> at, the, at the open. So when a thousand people follow Ross, the moderator, into a stock that is a low float stock that says four million shares, guess what's going to happen? So like I said, I did not like the stock at all. I thought the news was just so-so. I don't even know why they put a headline out for it, but I knew that if these guys were going to watch it and try to play it at the open, then so am I because they're going to create a wave, and that's exactly what happened. So right out of the open, you can see 9.30 and 7 seconds. Uh, it didn't look like it was going to drop, so I went long immediately. I got in at 4.87, and I sold into the pop at 5.15-ish, somewhere in there. 3,000 shares, 800 and change. So I held that for 12 seconds, and yes, we're breaking above these levels on the daily chart. You know, resistance right here, we're above the moving averages. But again, the news wasn't spectacular. And that's why I sold immediately as soon as we broke five. And I got a really good fill at 515, actually 516. I mean, that's a really good chunk of change there on 3,000 shares. So I sold, and guess what immediately happened? Boom. I mean, huge red candle came all the way back down. So that's pretty, pretty bearish when your second candle closes below the open. Yeah, that's a pretty bearish sign. But nonetheless, the group wanted to play this again. And, you know, it was a whole dollar play. So that's why I didn't mind playing it again. We had this pop up, came back down, a little bit of consolidation. And then uh, they're going for the candle over candle, break of five. So I went along 2,000 shares this time at 492 right here. And got the immediate pop up. Um, as you see, it went to 525, but I did not hold up there. As soon as it broke five, I was trying to sell, and I almost got filled at 520, but some someone else beat me to it. There was a there was a bid at 520, but when I got filled, it was 504. So whatever, I'll take it. It was another 12 cents on 2,000 shares. Really good start to the day, right? So, um, and I held that for what is that? Uh, to one, 19 seconds. So, you know, a total of, you know, 40 seconds worth of trading today, and I was already up like $1,000. So, just goes to show you don't need to be holding, you know, for hours on end to make money. This was seconds. Got to be fast, though. So, we decided to play this again. And this time, let's see, by, okay, here we go. So this was kind of when it started to fall apart, 9.36. So this one was a play for high day break. So we had a consolidation candle, and we were going to think we are going to go candle over candle and break this one and maybe break this double top up here. So I went long. Again, the chat room is playing right along on this one. And I went long at 5.14. It ran into resistance pretty quickly, and I sold at 518 actually the top of this candle <laughs> look at that 518 i sold half and then it just dumped hard and i dumped the other half at 494 so 
actually lost money on that second trade. But again, the first two completely made up for it. And as you can see, it just kind of sold off from there. And, you know, we're down at 450 today. You know, like I said, it's not amazing news or anything. So, you know, what can you do? So my next trade was GLBS, which is actually a shipper. And the reason why I played this one, I went long at 9.39 at 8.27. The reason why is because dries started off red on the day and then boom, went green, red to green move here. So I was playing GLBS in sympathy to dries because there's no way I'm getting into dries. First off, way too many people are playing this thing and it's just so volatile, it's all over the place. Secondly, it's an absolute crap company. I mean, it is an absolute joke. Look at the reverse splits they've done. They've done so many reverse splits that, you know, up here is somewhere near $816 a share. That's absolutely ridiculous. And now we're at $4. So anyway, as Dries is going red to green, I go long on GLBS. Right, where is it? 939, right in here. All right, so 827. Um, I, I sell a thousand shares at 8.33 just to lock in some profits right in here. And where did I sell the other lot? 8.34. So right up in here. So just a quick move. Not a lot of volume on it today. At the time, I think there was 30,000 shares traded. So not a lot of volume. I was really hoping to see volume come in as dries kind of took off. It just hasn't happened. And GLBS is kind of not the greatest sympathy play right now to dries it's just not moving and part of it's because the daily chart isn't that great you had this pop drop pop drop so we're in an area of support right here it's not like a candle over candle move on the daily if it was candle over candle on daily i think you'd get a lot more people coming in so i made some money on this trade to make up for that uh, hmny third trade i took so not too bad so here you can see the hmny trade this is this is where you're trading uh, at 931 you know he this is when he posted it but he's on you know he's on video and he's got his mic on saying he's getting in he got in at 930 actually so there he got in at 489 and sold at 510 and five dollars and then you can see him getting back in again got in at 490 sold at 520 and five dollars and this is the, the the next trade PULM this one was hitting the scanners um, I did not do well on this because it felt really hot it felt really, really heavy to me. So uh, we had this nice, nice move up, consolidation. We we're going to try to play for the candle over candle, maybe make a move above 284. I went long at 275, and as soon as I did, um, it just kept popping up and dropping right back down, popping up, dropping right back down. So once I saw that it was kind of feeling heavy, I got out. I lost a penny on it, 20 bucks, no big deal. And it could have easily have rolled over. I mean, the daily looks really good. Uh, it looked really good at the time. We had this pop, consolidation, pop, consolidation. Today we had candle over candle, and it's just gone crazy since then. I mean, now we're just breaking this high, which is very bullish. But um, at the time, didn't didn't know I was going to do that. <laughs> so I had to play it safe. I'm just protecting my, my wins right now. So this is when the wheels started to fall off on my trades today. Um, this was the first one. It was a news play, and I'm not familiar with the name. And it had news come out, and immediately I bought uh, 2,000 shares at eight bucks. And the news was good. I really thought it would go. Other people came in too, but not a lot. That's for sure. Where is it at? Here's the news right here. Uh, not a lot. Only 10,000 shares volume on this kind of a news play. I was looking at the daily too. I'm like, oh, this is this thing's just gonna take off. Nope, didn't even move. So usually on news plays, I will look at the bid and the ask. And if they're close together, meaning the spreads are close together, I'll play it. Well, this time, for some reason, I didn't look at that and I just bought. Well, the spread was $8 and then $7.75. It was a 25 cent spread. It's like, Great, just great. So I got in at 7.95, and once I saw the spreads, and then I saw no volume coming, I'm like, I need to get out of this. I need to get out of this, and I just sold, hit the market, 
prayed to the stock gods and the, the market makers that they would give me a decent exit, and they did. Uh, instead of 775, and there was like nothing on the bid. Like it was, it was just like this: 775, 200 shares. I mean, it could have easily just got, just tanked me. Um, but I got out 782. I was happy for that loss. I was very happy for that 13 cent loss. But uh, it was just it was just a poor trade by me. I just didn't do my normal checks before I got in. I just heard the news, came over, buy. And part of that's because I had a cushion on the day, you know, around $1,000 at the time. So I could take those kinds of risks. But this one, this one bit me. So ETRM, this is one that I found and that I was trying to alert everybody in chat room. <laughs> I was like, uh, I was like, dude, you have to check out ETRM. It's about to go candle over candle in the daily. Okay, so ETRM massive move a few weeks ago right all the way to thirty dollars from what is this two dollars two to thirty I and mean, that's over a thousand percent move <laughs> i mean it's crazy and then it came all the way back down hit this uh what is this 50 day moving average bounce back up to 10 hit the 50 day moving average again so this one might be a great one to swing trade because um it's hit it, and then today, the reason why this kind of took off is it went candle over candle on, let's try to zoom in a little bit better, candle over candle on the daily. So here's that pop to $10, and then it just kind of fade, 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 fade. Also, volume is fading. Uh, you know, 1 million, 1.3 million, 1.2 million shares. And finally, we broke yesterday's high which gives us candle over candle. And when that happened, you know, it's $6 and basically 60 cents, this thing took off. So where did that happen at? Let's see, 1030? Yep, right here. All right, so you can see kind of, it's coming up, it's coming up. You can tell that everybody's watching for this candle over candle on the, on the daily chart. And again, it's right here, right? So as soon as that broke, which was right about here, you can see the volume really starting to pick up and then this thing just kind of took off and i'm telling everybody in chat both chats that i'm in i even put it on stock twits uh, i said let's see if i can find it okay so right here i posted etrm watching to see if we can get a move over yesterday's high this was at 1035 right so 1035 is right here so i was watching it as soon as it broke you know i was like i'm in i am in so i went long at six 56 2000 shares started moving uh the other chat rooms i'm in specifically warrior trading they got in up here higher at 695 7 and they sold at 720 723 718 712 so they he, they made money on this i got in earlier than they did and i sold a thousand shares at 685 um as volume was coming in inside this candle i believe it was uh, this candle and I sold the rest on the $7 break, you know. And, you know, if I had a bigger um, share size, I might have held 1,000 shares, but I only took 2,000 shares. And, and regrettably, I only took 2,000 shares. You know, I probably should have taken 3,000, but it's just been such a poor performer recently. I didn't want to risk it. I would just want to protect my cushion on the day. So this was a really nice win, and this one put me up over... Um, $1,400 $1, at the time. So really nice trade. I was happy for it. And that's why these charts are so valuable, especially how it double bounced off of this 50. So maybe we get a move back up to the 20-day moving average, which would be around 9.30. Maybe that'll happen tomorrow. And if we can break that and then break 10, you know, there's room up to 13, 25. I mean, this thing could go, especially since it's holding the seven level today. Definitely one you want to keep on your radar. All right, so NOV, time for a large cap loss. So Kramer tweets out um, that this company for sure is going to be bought by blah, blah, blah. I think it was this one. Let me make sure I'm, I'm telling you right. Yes, this company tweets out this, this company is going to be bought by so-and-so down the road. Blah, blah, blah. You can see here the news coming in. Pure news play, right? So I got in as soon as I heard it. Um, 11.56 at 39.20 right here. 
sold half on a pop at 39.24 for 40 bucks and then the bottom just dropped out on it and i sold the other thousand shares for a loss of 30 cents or 29 cents so definitely lost money on that trade was not too thrilled but again you know i was up on the day so it didn't hurt too bad but again i just i suck so hard at large caps i don't know why i trade these things large cap loss put it in the books all right so this one etrm this one i was playing for the break right here and as you can see we had a consolidation and moving back up really thought we were going to break it here i went long at 777 and guess what that was almost the exact top we double topped here and then boom the bottom fell out so once the bottom fell out i had to sell i'm not going to hold that i'm going to take my loss take it on the chin this was a 31 cent loss 600 dollars basically i lost in this trade now that hurt was not too thrilled about that that put me down to like 500 dollars on the day um it just it double topped up here and it all it needed was just one penny for this for volume to come in you can see volume wanted to come in people wanted to come in here 155,000, 148,000 people wanted this to move up and maybe break eight couldn't do it double topped sold off and had a quick bounce up you know that would have been a great time to sell but you don't know if it's just going to dump you know you don't know it's going to bounce off this is the 20 minute move uh that might be the 50 minute moving average there so, no nope, 20 minute moving average bounced off it popped back up and then broke through but um, i can't take that risk you know i don't want to hold this for a massive loss i'd rather just take it on the chin get out and move on so that's what i did so this one dcix this is the other shipper that actually has been moving better in sympathy to dries so dries at this point in time started to turn um kind of kind of see the sell-off consolidate sell-off consolidate well then it started to turn back up and this is when i decided to go long dcix this time i took 4,000 shares because i know that it has been moving in sympathy to drives and as you can see here it did turn up and it went from like you know 450 to 520 that's a pretty big move i mean the stock is down pretty big on the day but i know that other people are playing shippers and, you know this is one i actually alerted on stock twits i went long 287 4,000 shares and um again since i freaking just took a huge loss i was just going for the scalp uh and i sold let's see where is it well, right here so i went long inside this candle we got the pop up as predicted and i'm what i was doing is i'm looking at dries but i have my order window open for uh dcix and as soon as it dries looked like it was going to dump i sold so right through here we pop up it didn't go anywhere and started to fall back down i sold that's exactly what i did took six cents four thousand shares this time and i was happy for the short little win because again i was hurt <laughs> i'm still licking my wounds from those other trades so urre this is one i shorted and i this is a chat room short so as you can see here um jason bond got out of urre at two dollars and 12 cents for three cent loss what i was doing is i was playing the fact that maybe him selling and all his followers selling are going to create people just dumping shares and the stock's going to go through the support level um it didn't happen so but i went short at 208 and i covered it basically 207 basically break even after commission commissions but the problem is is i misread I for, I for some reason had this muted so i misread uh when he was exiting it was at 117 and uh, or 1117 which is back here as you can see kind of dropped from there that would have been kind of a good move yeah, but i got short up in here and it just it just was moving way too slow so once i went profit once i went green i covered like i said break even basically so etrm this was a candle over candle play um 
It was on the five minute chart I was watching. So nice run up. Doji candle, doji candle, doji candle, and then it started to come back down. So now I'm watching for the, the next candle over candle move. So here you go. So it didn't break this, didn't break this, but this candle did break the high of the previous candle for a candle over candle. And when that happened, I went long 2,000 shares, seven, basically 20. Where is that at? Right in here, you can kind of see it. It was breaking the VWAP too, so that's kind of nice. Not a lot of volume came in though. So that's why I was quick to exit I sold half at 25 and half at 22 as it's coming back down. So volume's key. You know, this is a candle over candle break and not a lot of volume is coming in. There's a short little pop. It's a bearish sign. And as you can see, it sold off immediately uh, on the next candle. And that kind of leaves us where we're at. Hope you saw kind of the power of the chat rooms. Um, kind of go over some of the other trades of uh, Jason Bond and and the gang over here, I mean, they're all over the place today. Bart uh, is doing pretty well. He just closed a swing trade for $2,500. Um, but uh, overall, I think everybody's green. Um, but again, you're not going to get any of these alerts unless you're in chat room. And now, just because they alert something doesn't mean you have to take it. Okay, You've got to manage your own risk and look at the trade and see if you agree with what they see. Sometimes they get it wrong. They're not going to be green on every trade. You can see on Ford here, Bart lost 600 bucks. But yeah, so most people though, these guys, they're professionals. They're good at what they do. Bart's a great day trader. Luke, great day trader. And over in the other chat room, Warrior Trading, Ross did really well today. I think he ended the day $4,000 up. And um, the other moderators didn't really trade much today. I think the only thing they were watching was Apple, and it just didn't give them the uh, sit-ups that they wanted. So, as always, you can find me on Google Hangouts. If you have any questions, my email address is stockjockat at gmail.com. You can find me in, on Google Hangouts. I'm there to answer any questions you may have. Uh, also, a link to the chat rooms that I use and I pay for are in the description down below. Also. A link to the news source that I use is in the description down below. And if you use the coupon code STOCKJOCK at checkout, you get, I believe it's 30% off your subscription price. All right, that's all. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.